Well, I hope you enjoyed that start to finish process. You know, when I first started this uh, project, I was really just going to make it just kind of a generic uh, Christmas uh, project and then I don't know why but I thought I want to put my photo on it somewhere but I didn't really want to change the design of the generic that I was going for and I'm like well um, you know I'll add just some kind of strips of paper off the edge over here and to kind of compensate for kind of papers hanging off here instead of you know putting my picture in the normal framed area I'm gonna just kind of throw it off over here to the side a little bit so um, that's why my picture kind of ended up over here and to offset kind of the dark of that um, you know I made sure I kind of created a triangle effect of some dark colors as you can see so I kind of have a black and white a photo on transparency here and then I have this kind of black kind of a darker um, Woodward here this is just a prima piece and then I have a black um, number here um, just from my stash and so it kind of creates that triangle effect so so it kind of ties in together okay um, anyway so let me bring my camera down a little bit more so you could just see it uh, before we kind of get started a little bit explaining everything just kind of show you the detail in this it's really pretty quick to put together. I um, sat down one night and um, you know, maybe half hour, 45 minutes, just kind of laying it out, seeing how I wanted to do it, um, and then kind of came in today. You know, I always lay my things out first, and then I take a photo of it, and then as I am putting it together for you uh, on camera, I've got the picture on my iPad, so it helps me remember what I started um, with for inspiration it doesn't always end up the same but it at least gives me a basis I can't just start cold and just start creating for you guys just not how my brain operates okay so there's that and let me bring this back down and bring my camera up just a little bit um, I got this slice of wood you can get it in most any craft stores anymore but uh, our Walmart got some in it ran about six dollars which is kind of like, oh, I six dollars for that, but I did anyway, um, thinking, you know, I'll use it sometime. I liked the shape of it and everything. It was a nice, good piece. It wasn't split or anything like that. I've seen wood slices like Hobby Lobby and stuff and around this size, it's, I think it's nine or ten dollars, so, you know, a little bit cheaper. Um, and I didn't want to use, um, I loved this, believe me, but this was just too bright to go in with the color scheme of the paper I was using. So um, I went in with just some acrylic paint and really watered it down like you saw me and just kind of did just like a, just a wash using a little uh, makeup sponge. And so it kind of darkened that wood up a little bit, but still kind of leaving the quality and the rawness of the wood on the outside. The paper line that I used uh, from Renee's shop is Blue Fern Studios, and it's Christmas, vintage Christmas 2. It's some really cute papers. There's vintage Christmas 1, she's got both lines, and then vintage Christmas 2. Really cute, all in Blue Fern Studio fashion. Um, always, you know, real pretty with the colors and everything, the collaging. I'll just show you some of the papers in this one. These would be really cute to cut out. Um, this is the one I this is the back side of the one I use. Look at that, just really pretty imagery. And then that's the front that I used. This one is really pretty as well. It's just really cute. A lot of stuff you can do. It would really make some really pretty cards. I love the image of this Santa here. Uh, and then the other sheet, oh, here it is. It's a cut apart with all these different um, little pieces, which is kind of what I used on where I put the all I want for Christmas and stuff. So a bunch of different little cut aparts. And then the back side was just kind of a tan kind of um, pattern. So really, just like I said, really cute imagery. So like I said, Blue Fern Studios Vintage Christmas 2. There's also just plain Vintage Christmas, I believe. Um, so I just kind of freehand and... Um, put a piece of copy paper over the top of this wood slice and then just kind of um, 
free handed like the shape of the wood slice but you know smaller because I wanted some of the wood to show and then that's how I cut my back sheet of paper and of course all my little pieces that I cut from the paper collection everything I sewed them to stress the edges um, so see that this piece of paper is just from my stash I wanted to kind of pull out the reds and the greens just a little bit more um, so I kind of tucked that in there and all I want for Christmas is you and I think that's why I wanted to throw in a photo and like I said I printed that just on transparency I sewed that as well and so the first thing I laid down is after I got the paper down this little transparency comes out of you know Prima marketing their new collections and stuff their flowers packs and stuff have you know extras in them and so this is just one of the transparencies that came out of one of the flower packs from the lavender frost collection and some of the flowers I used it was from the lavender frost collection Renee has that in her shop and the one I used the package was beautiful frost let me see I've got that right here for you there we go it's just got some really p pretty pinks and plaids and creams and my favorite um, flowers in this lavender frost collection are these um, ones that have the script on them they're just completely gorgeous look at that just love them so I used all the script out of that package but um, all the other packages are really cool this one here um, see this one's got like a piece of the um, vellum in there as well these flowers they're all fabric I thought they were paper when I got them they are fabric this is the first time I've seen this size of flowers because they're usually you know like a mulberry paper or something these are fabric from the lavender frost collection Renee has all sorts of the flowers and the papers and everything um, in her collection as well as like this little piece right here is from the ephemera it says happy heart it's from the ephemera from that collection and um, this one comes it's got like die cuts I won't pull them out of the bag but die cuts and then it's got acetate pieces just really pretty in there there's like a die cut there acetate pieces and then the very back page you get like a full page of stickers so you're getting like a lot 41 pieces for the price which is very affordable so anyway all that collection came from Renee's shop like I said and so um, the vellum piece that's what I did there and then I laid my uh, photo on top I printed on transparency all these little die cuts like I said from the Blue Fern Studios collection I kind of you know in on the side underneath the frame the frame is from Prima Marketing and Renee has those in her shop memory hardware collection this is the pap I can never say it right I want to say papillion but I think it's papillon blanc um, anyway so I thought it was really cute you know it's got the little bow and everything so almost like presents type thing and then let's go down to the bottom down the bottom I have this roll of wire that I got from Hobby Lobby and let me grab that here it is um, I got like 40% off and I think it was only like $6.99 to start with um, so I just kind of cut little pieces off here and there to use on my projects and then on top of that I started laying some uh, really beautiful laces from Renee's shop and let me kind of show you some of those I've got them here to the side this beautiful one that I started with at the bottom I just laid one one long strip down at the bottom so it just kind of hung down here it's from this one right here let me grab it right here there it is it's very very big very long but I love it because you can cut it up look at that gorgeous lace and it was so pretty to have kind of you know come down to a point on like your projects and stuff you can cut these up tuck them in and around your flowers just a gorgeous lace it's like from the longest you know tip to tip six inches wide and it's the Venice rose lace and this is in white and so I just kind of cut it up and use it as I go along make it go a little farther okay so I've got that lace I started with and then I laid a couple more laces on top of that this one is also in white and it's called the bridesmaids lace very gorgeous all these just beautiful um, detailing on here to have it? yep that was the right way detailing on here and then this next one I laid on top is just called delicate beauty just a nice real just kind of simplistic uh, beautiful type of lace okay 
Um, and then I tucked in like some of my flowers right here, one of the ones that you guys see me use quite a lot from Monet's shop, and it's called the Daisy Chain Lace. Okay, I've got that right here, the Daisy Chain Lace, and I like to just kind of cut pieces off of it as well and just kind of tuck it in and around the flowers. Okay, so those are the laces that I kind of started tucking in and around there and kind of laying those down. And then the first piece, and it's the only one I had, so I'm really sorry I can't show you, but um, like in my hand or anything, but it's called the Decorative Scroll Christmas Flourish. And it was the flourish that I had laid down and then it was hanging, three little hanging like ornaments. Okay, so here's one of the ornaments. So it was like the scroll piece and then the little ornaments hanging down. It was that one whole unit. And I wanted to do that and so that the ornaments, so that I could have the scrolls sticking out here at the top, as you can see, just kind of peeking out here and then have kind of the little bit of ornaments, these just delicate, delicate ornaments kind of hanging out and around down the bottom of the lace. Okay. Just gorgeous detailing. Again, the decorative scroll Christmas flourish. So that's what I kind of laid in there. And then on top of that, I started uh, with some Rene Bouquet's um, chiffon flowers. They come in a set of three, and this one is in the sage green, a beautiful sage green. And then we talked about the lavender frost flowers from Renee's shop, kind of one here and one tucked in here. The uh, poinsettias here that I have in red, there's a red one here, and then I used a great big one. You could barely see it because I covered it up. Just kind of wanted something in there so I could kind of lay some stuff on top of it. Both of these, both of these colors come from Renee's shop, and they are a set of 13, I believe. I'm checking my paper here to make sure I get them right. A set of 14, sorry, a set of 14. Like I said, I used the red ones. Um, and they are uh, Mulberry Christmas Flowers set. And so we've got the red, like I said, and then the winter white in the others. And I believe they also come in a burgundy as well. And they come with some poinsettias, uh, some leaves. Some have regular, like, um, just kind of roses. Some have, like, curled roses to them. Little rosebuds that come in the sets as well. Um, so there's, you know, a little bit of a mixture in those Christmas flower sets. Um, and then I tucked in, like, here. There's, a, like, a cute little swirl here. And then I've got a cute little swirl coming here. And let me grab that to you. I've got it over to the side here. I wanted to show you some of those. Wrong side. Up close. Okay. Uh, there we go, right in camera view. And these are called the Candy Cameo Flourish Set. You get a set of four, Candy Cameo Flourish Set. And I used one in the small size and one in the tiny. These are the tiny size. Okay, and you, what you'll get is two of these and two of these. Okay, Candy Cameo Flourish. Love them because of those little curly cues. And this one over here, you can see is a little bit bigger. That was in the small. And then this tiny little one over here is tiny <laughs> in the tiny size. Okay. Um, I also added, you saw me use just some, um, was it upholstery thread or quilting thread? I have upholstery thread and quilting thread. This one was quilting thread and I just kind of, um, you know, wrapped it up and kind of tucked it in there to give it a little texture coming out of the flowers and such. Um, and then this is just a Woodward from my stash from Prima from one of their older collections It says Together. And then I also added some beautiful Rene Bouquet butterflies, of course. And I love these because they were all real glittery and I thought it would be a nice kind of Christmas touch. And these are the Sweet Pea in White. Okay, Sweet Pea, Tiny Treasures Butterflies, Sweet Pea and White, and they come with that pearl detailing. I have them in the silver antenna, so I've got one here, and then I've got one over here. Let me bring my camera down a little bit. It's late at night here, so I know my lighting is not its best, but we're doing what we can. Okay, let me see. Let me take a look here, and I think I covered everything at the bottom. So let's just kind of move up onto the frame a little bit. Um, here's another little wood piece here from the same collection that this came from, and I can't remember which collection it was. Um, anyway, it's just a little wooden heart from my stash. And in this beautiful, beautiful die cut piece here, I love it. It's one of my favorites that Renee has designed this year. Uh, the printed beautiful board die cut and she is called Christmas Joy and I because I use all I want for Christmas is you it's like she's holding you know all the presents all her presents of love 
you know, you guys know I always have a story, um, you know, and all I want for Christmas is you. And so there are presents of love there. And then I use several different, um, I know, right? Um, I use several different uh, snowflakes here. These ones here, uh, one, these two come from the seven piece vintage snowflake set. And then this one is from Linda's Love Flake set. Love these. Renee um, designed these in honor of me because they have all sorts of little hearts and stuff all through them. And actually one of the little hearts that come with these Love Flakes set I put right here on that little tag. Okay, and then the last thing I did is I just wanted to do a play on 25 for 25th of December. And like I talked to you at the beginning, I wanted to kind of bring in that triangle of black. So I had this black two, and so I did two five for 25. Just thought it would be kind of a fun little twist. Um, and then off camera, I use Renee Bouquet's Glitter Glass in Diamond. I use my Prima 3D Matte Gel as I usually do. I just kind of paint it on with the paintbrush, and then I pour the glitter glass on top of that and then just kind of tap off the excess. Okay, and I've got it over here, and I wanted to do that because it just kind of makes it, you know, all glittery and pretty, you know, for Christmas, but it also ties in the glitter glass that are on these butterflies that Renee does. Okay, and I've got it kind of up in here. A little bit down over in this corner. Oh, and then the very, 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 very first thing I did, you all saw me use um, uh, Tim Holtz Distress Spray Stain. It's in the picket fence is what I use, and I just take the sprayer off the top of the bottle, and then I just kind of tap it. You can tap it with a paintbrush handle or, you know, a pencil or something like that to kind of get little dots all over um, the paper. And then I did the same thing with um, one of Lindy's Stamp Gang colors. They all kind of got covered up in the process, but I thought I got them in the right area. But And I was going to go over the top with them. Uh, to kind of bring it back out again, but by that time I'm like, no, I'm done. <laughs> by the time I got done with my project, I'm like, I'm done. I'm not adding any more dots. Um, anyway, but Renee carries tons of those uh, colors of distress spray stains in her shop. So um, I will have all the links down below to everything Renee Bouquet's as usual, and I will have the links down below to the product I used on this project. I will also have all my links so you can come follow along on my blog, on Pinterest, on Instagram. There will be close-up photos um, on those so you can see those a little bit better as well as Renee Bouquet blog so you can see this project. If you're not a subscriber please subscribe to my channel hit that notification bell so you're uh, notified immediately when I do upload a video. Add a comment down below I'd love to hear from you. I thank you for sharing your time with me give this video a thumbs up and I'll talk with you again soon. Bye!